it rides really nice. It rides really nice. Um, I think an oil change next week. And oil change, seat cover, side panels. And that's it really. I think it's gonna be a good running tatty bike. Um, I'm not gonna polish this one as much as I can. I'm not gonna bother actually. It's gonna be a cheapish bike for someone. I mean, it's fairly modern, you know, to bike standards, isn't it? It's 16 plate and it's a fuel injected Yamaha. So it's a fairly modern bike. Uh, the new slightly taller handlebars work. They work really well, um, very comfortable tank looks good it what it needs the side panels like it looks a bit silly at the moment it needs the um the side panels with the side panels on it all and then of course the trim i think it will all come together last minute really cool i'm i'm, I'm fairly happy i think in two weeks it will be mot next week i think i'm on my last course next week my last test um for the electrics Cool. So, oil, I need some more oil. I've said a couple of other bits today, but I didn't need them in the end. High beam, low beam switch I didn't need. Uh, new front headlight I didn't need. It doesn't need it, I think that's it. I think that's mot -able. What I'll do is next week, I'll spend time on the Benelli, because if I'm lucky, I can take both in a van for MOT on the same day and just get them through. Uh, cool. Hi everyone, how are you doing? Um, quick video um, on, um, this is for a friend of mine and a friend of the channel, he's called Hassan. Um, I spoke about him recently and I've spoken about him in the past, he's the one that comes and collects the, um, the scrap metal and stuff, it's not scrap actually, it's parts, because he has a business where he sells parts. The business has actually grown so much more than I you know, would have expected it to, so uh, he's done so well. Um, I want to throw in a link, some pictures to his websites and some links in the description so that if anyone's looking for parts, you can contact him first. He's the ultimate nice guy. He's lovely. So um, please do give him a shot. Get out there and use him if you need to. So I'm going to do this as a quick, um, as a quick uh, short as well, just to get him out there. But yeah, if you need any parts, go to this, this guy. Go to his um, websites and his Facebook pages and ask him about what you need he's he's lovely very helpful two thousand years later so finally um i want to check the valves on the cb200 they're possibly okay but um my theory is that the seven eight minute cutout is a mixture of um it's air cooled and it just it just overheats um versus uh, possibly slightly out of spec valves because i just i don't remember doing them so i mean i would have done them it's, that's what i do but i don't remember doing them so i do want to double check it is stone cold and then my ideal today is that i want to nip and tuck a lot of the bolts and stuff everything everything what you guys were hearing on the last startup was everything like like look you know and it's not it's not bad practice it's because i you know i haven't finished um the bike uh, and i just everything else comes and takes over even the side plates were rattling as well so uh, so today the aim is to just check the valves just check them see if see if they're in spec or not um i'll cut down these wires because it winds me up that they touch the exhaust so i'll cut down the um, coil wires part of me worries about the coil it is a good normal coil but it's not a um, Honda one and I've had bad experiences with coils in the past so I'm, I'm considering a, a brand new coil or one from David Silver at least um, that has a bit of uh, a weight behind it you know um, and I just want to do a bit of nipping and tucking really because ultimately I want it to go back together and I want it to be advertised again at least this time when I advertise it I can idle the bike I can take the bike for a spin I can bring it back and I can idle the bike that's where I want to be with this soon so step one for me is to check the valves while cold all i have to do here is of course take the bottom um, plate off there so i can crank the engine take the engine take the cam off whatever valve i'm working on and check the spec there 
I need to pop online and see what the spec should be. I don't know what it should be at this stage. And, uh, and I'll check. I, I, I want one or two or all of them to be out of spec right now. That's what I want. Um, because I want to think I've solved the problem after this. If I get all that kind of done and nipped up and bolted, my last piece of the puzzle is to run the fuel pipes in a way that I'm happier with. The main thing is that I need a two into one up here because I'm not happy with one of the taps. One of the taps is releasing fuel just a bit slower than the other. And I've cleaned it through and I've done everything to make it better. And the truth is it, it runs okay. But then I put it on an edge sometimes and I, I lean it over and I turn it on and you see that one's really good. I mean, I'll do it again in a minute. I'll get the tank out, I'll set up the camera, I'll pop, pop the tap and you'll see that one comes out quite fast and one comes out a bit slower. The truth is the slower one is probably enough anyway. It's me being picky. But my aim is to get the two into one and then separate into the two again so that it is just evened. Sometimes it's nice to spend some time alone at the garage with no aim. I don't have to get a bike ready for an MOT. I don't need the funds. Um, I don't need to be here. Sometimes it's really nice just to think, oh, I'm just going to do it for fun. That does need, that does need nipping. That does need nipping. And loose makes me feel better because I d you're not easily gonna see it. Maybe you'll hear it. Hang on. Yeah, there is too much looseness in that, actually. Um, so that's, uh, look. Now the thing is, if it's already loose, right? When it expands, it could all get looser. I don't quite fully understand the ins and outs because on some, when it all um, heats up and expands, it can get tighter. But um, yeah, there's a risk that it gets looser when loose. So I, basically it needs to be in spec. So I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna put that in spec straight away. I'm gonna go around and do the others and I think, my guess is, it's going to be a great runner from here. That's my guess. I think they were all a bit looser than they should have been. I, um, I think they're closer to being in spec now. I think they should be in spec now. Which is good. I'm going to spend a few minutes doing the silly bits I told you I should be doing. And then um, let me see what I can do with the fuel line. I've, I bought some new fuel line somewhere, which will help. Hi everyone and welcome back. Um, I've actually booked a fan to put this in to take it to MOT today. I was meant to be finishing my course, my electrician course level two today, but they postponed it last minute, which is very annoying, but also okay, because I can take this for an MOT. Um, lucky I came a touch early. I didn't realize I dismantled the clocks at some point. They're not fully dismantled. I've just unbolted them. Um, and only because, um, I've actually bought a clock rebuild kit and it's all of this plastic casing. Uh, I think I've bought it in black as well. Um, but I'm not going to be doing that now. I've actually, the plan is to take this to MOT, ideally get it past an MOT and then come back and clean it up for the rest of today um, so that it can be advertised and sold today. That's the kind of plan. Um, I want to do a shout out to um, Hassan. Hassan's a friend of the channel. He's been a friend of the channel for a long time. He's actually a local motorcycle breaker, but also he, he, um, he's a rescuer of motorbikes. Uh, ultimate nice guy. So um, I want to, um, he, ca he comes and takes my scrap and my scrap drives me nuts at times I can't stand it so I say to him please come down mate and collect it all you don't you know don't pay me a penny um so ultimate nice guy so I'm going to put up some um links to um his uh breakers and uh, if anyone's ever looking for any parts please do go and check his site just because he's lovely just chat to him message him talk to him and he either has it or he'll find it or 
you know, but ultimate nice guy. So um, please keep that in mind and I'll definitely put the link in the top of the description. Back to this, uh, let me throw them clocks on for a bolt in and when we come back later, if it's got an MOT, which would be ideal, we can then look at doing the clocks later, recovering the seat and doing the final few bits to get it advertised and out the door. So in some ways, this is a bit like the grand reveal, but it's not really because <clears throat> this doesn't really show the true nature of what the bike will be like when it's finished with its trim on and nice seat cover and stuff like that. Still can't find an original seat or seat cover anywhere, anywhere at all. Um, the customs were just a bit more rare than the other YBRs, um, but it, it's nice. I would never sell a bike like this with a seat like that. I would wait, I would hold on to it until I got something else. So that's it, I think. I can't see anything. Front brake feels great for anyone curious. I weren't sure um, how good that worked last time. It's lovely, rear brake's good. Uh, if I remember rightly, all the lights were working. I should actually fire it up, warm it up and have a quick check. It really wouldn't hurt. Um, normally it starts pretty well, although don't be surprised if I jinx myself here. Right, what just happened? Oh, it is on. Oh, my own gear. Mm. Lovely. Right, what lights have we got? We've got main and high. We definitely do in running. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I know we've got all of the brake lights, if I remember rightly. Yeah, I can see that. I know we've got the rear. We connected that up. Yep, lovely. Um, Horn, horn, horn. Good, and then all the indicators seemed fine last time. Uh, good, good, good. Other side. Good, good, good. Yep, lovely. And then, um, and then don't forget, you know, your, your seals need to be dry. Um, if they're slightly leaky, you'll get a minor. That wasn't slightly leaky. And then, of course, you've got steering circle left to right. It can't touch the tank. You've got rear shocks. Front suspension, you've got tyres, you've got treads, you've got tyre pressures um, and all of that stuff. So I think sometimes I look like I'm, I'm being a bit quick with it all, but I'm not. It is actually doing what it should be doing. I like these taller bars. I think they suit it. Um, the final kind of bike, I need to, I'm, I'm curious about what I'm going to do. Am I going to take that rear bar off? I'm probably not. It looks nice. Um, I like the taller handlebars, it gives it a kick, I'm definitely going to paint these, I'm definitely going to put the trim on, I'm definitely going to put the rear um, chain guard on, and stuff like that.